Welcome back to the CSC Garage. In this episode, we want to show you how to start up the TT250. As you can see, we're starting off with the cold engine. So let me show you my procedure. So the first thing I want to do is show a couple of features on this starting system. First is your fuel supply. Right now, the petcock is in the off position. It's horizontal. If you look on yours, it says fuel and has an arrow pointing this way. There's a picture of a tank that looks almost full and a picture of a tank that looks almost empty. When I have plenty of fuel and I'm ready to ride, I'm not storing the bike, I'm gonna turn the fuel valve on. Now the arrow's pointing up to the tank that looks full. If you were to run out of gas or needed to go a little further, you could turn the petcock down. Now the arrow's pointing down to the one that's almost empty and it serves as a reserve. It'll pick up that last little bit of fuel off the bottom of the tank. But for right now, we're gonna operate this motorcycle within the on position. I also wanna point out the choke, which is on the back side of the carburetor. I'm gonna maneuver the choke with this lever on the handlebar so I can turn the choke on or off. You follow the arrow to turn the choke on. You're gonna choke off some of the air supply to make it a more fuel rich mixture. So when I start it up, I'm gonna go full choke and then back that choke off, work it off. You can verify that it's working by looking down on the back of the carburetor. Now we're ready to go ahead and look at the ignition switch. Turn the ignition switch on, the motorcycle's in neutral. I'm gonna turn my run switch on. This is a kill switch, put it to run. When I hit the starter button, I like to give it just a little bit of throttle. So I'm gonna put it on full choke, hit the starter and give it a little throttle. Then I can back off the choke zone. Get it running, keep my RPMs up with the hand. I'm nursing the throttle and back off the choke. Continue warming it up until I have a smooth idle. Okay, now we've got the motorcycle at operating temperature. It's at idle, it's holding at idle, but it's, it's really kind of low. I like to see at least three bars on my tachometer. Uh, so let me show you on the carburetor how you can adjust the idle speed if needed. This is the idle speed screw on the carburetor. You're not gonna make major adjustments on it, but a few little fine tuning adjustments. I like to turn it maybe a quarter or even less than a quarter of a turn at a time. And you can hear that idle pick up speed. And again, you want to do this after the motorcycle is at running temperature. Make your adjustment. We're going to, we're going to increase that idle just a little bit. And now we'll look back at the tachometer and see the change. You can hear the change, but you can also see it on the display. Okay, so now we've got three bars on the tachometer. I'll give it a little rev and see where it settles back down. Drops back down around there. Around this area is where you want to have that idle. It makes the startup a little easier. Uh, helps the engine perform. Difference in temperature or uh, elevation that you might be at could have a, a role in, in needing that adjustment. Thanks for joining us once again at the CSC Garage. Hope you found it informative on how to start up your TT250. Now that this engine's hot, we won't even think about the choke. We're gonna turn it on, start it right up. Enjoy the ride.